to another episode of Movie Mayhem. Here at Suspiria Works Cinema, where we watch all the movies. Um, we're now revisiting the lovely Bruno Mattei. I'm going to actually finish this series. Uh, for those of you that checked it out, uh, you know, I think we got in about 16 films. The guys made a lot of films, so we're only about halfway there. Although I've noticed, uh, if you look at, um, there's a couple other guys out there that have kind of gone through some of this stuff. They, they stop. Uh, right about here because at this point honestly it gets really hard to get his movies um, I'm actually missing three three at three at three there we go the numbers right uh, three of his movies simply because they they've never been issued anywhere um, as far as I can tell they didn't even come out on TV I know they've been shopped and I found the rights holders so outside of buying them to myself and releasing them I they're not gonna happen but let's uh let's talk about strike commando uh, this stars Red Brown, and there is a sequel as well. This, the best version of this was from uh, Japanese VHS. It is at least letterbox, has hard-coded Japanese subs, but that's the best version. This is a bootleg. No one's released it anywhere. But damn it, they should. If you've not seen this movie, this is... This is the epitome of, of 80s action exploitation. I mean... It's it's got chock full of I mean ripped off totally ripped off from uh, Rambo, of course. Uh, he's got this ridiculous gun here, which I don't. It's never in the movie, of course. Although I wish it was. Who wouldn't want this, right? Got a, uh, a that would be like a hundred mil shell or something coming out of there with a Gatlin gun on it. Um, I mean, it's pretty much the plot of Rambo. They go rescue some guys, but the action scenes are good. Um, if you've seen Zombie Three. You, you kind of get an idea. Well, that is accredited to Fulci, if you don't know. Matei basically finished the film after uh, Fulci quit. So if you look at the action scenes in that, that's Matei. And, and that's what you're going to get with this, is is pretty cool action. There's also some... The scripting is great. Ray, super racist. There's a... Um, oh... The one uh, black guy that's, that's partners in the beginning. He's like... I forgot where he was from. Wait, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, we used to go, we used to come up through the fences all the time to steal the watermelons. Or so, uh, it's, I don't remember exactly the wording, but it's so bad that it makes it even more hilarious. This is a, uh, I mean, there, the, there's tons of mindless explosions, ridiculous fight scenes. It's over the top beyond words. I mean, when... This is the type of film I wish could exist nowadays, and honestly should, but they just don't. It, 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 there's something about the crap low budget from the 80s and 70s that there was kind of a passion behind it with the crew. They were trying to make good stuff, and, and, and Red Brown is, you know, overacting, like, beyond words. So it's, there's an intensity that you, you're missing out on when... You know, in the new stuff, especially like you get this garbage uh, from like Asylum. It never had. It doesn't have the heart. It just doesn't. It feels like a corporate-made bad movie. Like they're missing something. Whereas, you know, with a Mate, you're watching something. And you feel like it, that Ed Wood effect. Where you, when you're watching this, even though it's kind of terrible, you believe that they thought they were making a good movie, and it makes it better. I mean, not a better film per se, but way more entertaining because there's there's some kind of level of, of heart to the filmmaking. Um, there's nothing to spoil in this. You know, guys get, uh, his, his, he's got to go rescue some uh, his buddies that get captured. That's the movie. There's no depth to this. It doesn't make sense most of the time. There's some great leaps of plot logic. Uh, not as bad as some of the uh, ones we'll get to later, like Cop Game, where I don't even know what was happening in that movie. Um, but this is fun. Uh, check it out. Go uh, for okay for an action exploitation film. I, this is damn near one of the best ones you're gonna find. Um, so I, I'm gonna give this guy a, a solid nine out of ten. Uh, I don't. You can't really buy this anywhere. So download it. Um, you know, I, I made my own little pretty cover here. Uh, it looks cool. I think I got, I might have gotten this one from somebody. I don't know. Or I made it. Not sure. But, uh, this is a, a fun flick. It, you'll, you'll laugh your ass off and it'll be entertaining. So, 
check out Strike Commando, and we'll see you here next time at Movie Mayhem.